Ever wondered how differential pressure transmitters work, or how to troubleshoot and calibrate them? Well, sit back and relax as we dive into the fascinating world of these essential devices. Differential pressure transmitters are crucial in various industries, from oil and gas to aerospace, due to their ability to measure and maintain pressure levels accurately. But how exactly do they function? The working principle of a differential pressure transmitter is centered around the concept of pressure difference. The transmitter measures the difference between two pressures, one on each side of a diaphragm, and converts this differential pressure into a signal that can be read by an external device. The diaphragm is a flexible disc that can move slightly in response to pressure changes. When the pressure on one side is higher than the other, the diaphragm flexes, and the amount of flex corresponds to the pressure difference. This movement is then transformed into an electrical signal proportional to the pressure difference. Troubleshooting a differential pressure transmitter can be a straightforward process if approached methodically. If the transmitter is not working properly, the first step is to check the power supply. Ensure the device is receiving the right voltage. If the power supply is correct, the next step is to check the wiring. Look for any loose or damaged wires that may be affecting the device's performance. If the wiring appears fine, then it's time to check the pressure connections. These should be clear of any blockages or leaks that could affect the pressure readings. If everything seems in order but the transmitter is still not functioning correctly, it may be time to consider a more detailed internal inspection or even a replacement. Calibrating a differential pressure transmitter is an essential part of ensuring its accuracy and longevity. The calibration process involves comparing the transmitter's output with a known reference pressure. This is often done using a pressure calibrator, a device that can generate precise pressure values for this purpose. The first step in calibrating a differential pressure transmitter is to apply a known pressure to the transmitter and observe the output. If the output does not match the applied pressure, an adjustment is needed. This adjustment is typically done using a zero and span adjustment method. Zero adjustment aligns the transmitter's output with zero pressure, and span adjustment aligns the output with maximum pressure. In summary, a differential pressure transmitter works by measuring the difference in pressure on either side of a diaphragm and converting this into an electrical signal. Troubleshooting involves a step-by-step -step examination of power supply, wiring and pressure connections, and potentially an internal inspection. Calibration is achieved by comparing the transmitter's output with a known reference pressure and making necessary adjustments. Understanding these principles and procedures can help ensure the optimal operation of differential pressure transmitters, contributing to their reliability and efficiency in various industrial applications.